Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I don't really know what type of look we're going to go for. All I know is that I've been super inspired by Stacey Murray MUA on Instagram lately. I actually trained with Stacey last May and she is amazing. She's an amazing makeup artist. Her skill set is unbelievable and her work with colour and that just like fascinates me. So I've seen a few like pictures on her Instagram lately of these like really blown out like smoky dark looks and she's taken it quite far out so I felt like I wanted to give it a go see what we can kind of come up with um so yeah I've got a few palettes I've got all my makeup laid out in front of me I've got a few little bits and bobs like new stuff that I'm gonna try um but yeah we're just gonna crack on and get straight into it so I'm actually gonna do things a little bit differently today. First of all, I am gonna moisturize. So I'm gonna be taking the Embryolis Late Cream Concentrate, my number one moisturizer. Um, I am gonna put quite a decent amount on because my skin has really like been suffering with the dryness, the winter, oh, everything is literally been suffering so bad. So I am gonna whack the, con the concealer. No, the foundation. No, oh my god, what am I saying? The moisturizer on. Just uh, really give my skin some hydration. I actually found this um, moisturizer when I went to a Mitchell masterclass. Remember Mitchell? If you don't know who he is, then I don't know what to say to you. Um, but yeah, he recommended this moisturizer and it is lush it's just nice and it's thick but it's not too thick and it's like moisturizing but it's not greasy if that makes sense it just sinks right into your skin so i would recommend that i think it's like 12 13 pound mm, might be more i'm not really sure but yeah it's from beauty bay so i would recommend trying that out because bloody love it so i don't know if i feel like cutting my like not cutting carving my eyebrows today I feel like I'm gonna just add a few brush strokes at the end for like a fluffy brow type of look so with that being said I'm not gonna go in with P. Louise base I'm actually gonna go in with the Helen E stage eyeshadow primer um Stacey 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 actually um used this when I did a class with her so it looks like this it's like a skin type of colour. It's quite a moussey, like thick consistency. So I'm just going to pop some of that on my hand. And I think I'm going to take, I'm still going to take my Zoeva 144 and I am just going to coat it on to my brush. I'm still banged up guys so I'm really sorry of how I sound. I'm just going to pop this all over my eye. Because we're going to be taking the shadows like quite high and quite far, I don't really feel the need to actually carve my eyelids out with my eyelids, my eyebrows. I don't even know what I'm saying. So I am actually just taking this up into like my eyebrow by right here. I'm just gonna bring it like down, bring it out. Mm -hmm. Look at it taking away like half of my tattooed brow. That is actually the start of my brow on that side. So now that our eyes are prepped and set, we're gonna start with the eye look. So I have a few palettes here that I kind of feel like I wanna use. Obviously it is the Be Perfect uh, Carnival palette with Stacey Marie. I like love this palette. I've kind of used mine to like death. I've hit pan on a lot of the shades which I'm a little gutted about. I've also got the Lime Crime Venus XL palette that I feel like I want to use. And I've also got this one, which is the Nubian 2 by Julia's Place. Just because this, like, colour by you is calling to me. Like, I feel like I want to do something like that. But then I don't know, because I've not long done, like, a purpley pinky eye look. Like, I don't know whether I want to go, like, smoky navy and... I just don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to go into the carnival palette and I'm gonna take first take the shade mood which is this dark navy color now normally I would start with like a tapered brush I think I'm just gonna go in with like a fluffy brush because I want to keep it quite blown out I'm gonna go in with the Zoeva 228 which is the Lex crease I'm just gonna get a little bit of mood 
right down to the tip. So I'm going to start by here. And first of all, I'm just going to pack that pigment on. Don't worry about like the underneath or anything like that looks like because we are going to clean it up later on. Just want to focus on building that pigment up first. So now I'm going to go into the shade Funky I think which is a bright pink. I'm literally just going to start buffing this. over there again don't panic what it looks like it will all come together then going into the shade wasted which is a bright purple I'm going to buff this on top of on top of that blend See how we've got this blend coming together. You have to just kind of trust the process. Going back in with our mood, which is the first shade that we used. we just create that blend and then going back in with funky so now I'm going in right so let me just show you the shades I used so I used mood then funky then wasted and then I just like reverted back so now I'm going to go in with liqueur liqueur? liqueur? I don't particularly know just taking that on this type of brush this is just from a brush set liqueur? liqueur? I don't know it's quite a nice dark shade so this is what we're going to use now to darken this outside bit up Then I'm going back in with Wasted. And then to darken, back in with Liqueur. So I'm going to do something like metallically, 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 <laughs> metallically on the lid. Just going back in with the stage primer, but I'm not actually cutting it or anything. I'm just going to use it to kind of like blend to like a, oh shit, to like a messy blend. So just taking it on a fluffy brush and I'm just pop, like popping that. like on because you just want it like something sticky then I'm going to be taking the shade breezy and recharge so I'm going to be taking those two
going back in with liqueur and a bit of moldy mixed. Always focusing on trying to keep this bit the darkest bit. And then just bringing it on top of this blend. And seriously guys, I just go back and forth, back and forth until I'm like perfectly happy with how I've got everything. For the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a bit of Keen, which is a bright yellow. I'm also going to add some gel liner, so I'm going in with the Illamasqua precision gel liner and I am going to be taking that on a Zoeva 317 so I'm just going to scoop some out pop it onto the back of my hand coat my brush and draw a line Going up on an angle because I want it to be quite thick. So once you come to my hue, you're just gonna wanna just feather the eyeliner. Just like that, just so it like blends and you can't tell that it's like stops. So I'm going to jump off camera, go to the other eye so that it matches and then we'll be back then to add some lashes and continue with the look. Okay guys, so I just finished the other eye and popped on a pair of lashes. These are the Lux London Lashes in Ava. So we're going to go and do the underneath the eye before we carry on with the face. So to clean this up I just like buffed it a little bit with a... Um, clean buffing brush so I'm just going to go ahead and pop some of the Helen E stage primer um, just on the back of my hand again I'm going to pop it underneath the eye I need to find a clean brush now okay I'm right under our lower lash line I am really sorry if you can't let me my chair oh up for this Okay, so when we get by here, we are just going to lightly clean up this edge by just buffing this primer into it. We don't want it to be sharp, so we want it to still be quite blown out. So if we just buff it like this, we're still going to get that blown out effect. The first colour I'm going in with is Liqueur. Just taking this on a Spectrum A12. I'm just going to push this into the lash line. Then taking a like a fluffy flat brush. I have something in my eye by here and it's like irritating me. Then I'm just going to go in with Wifey, which is like a pink shade, but not as pink as Funky. I'm just blending that right on top. Then I'm taking a little bit of Mood, which is the blue, and I'm just going to buff that. In by you, just to tie it in a little. Then again, I just want to use a clean blendy brush. And really blend that eyeshadow out. For my waterline, I want to do a pop of yellow, but I'm going to be taking the P. Louise base in zero, which is the white. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Like 
the teeniest tiniest bit like teeny tiny and then taking a 317 I'm just gonna coat there in the white I'm just gonna pop it onto my waterline And then just to be extra, I don't know what this is going to turn out like, I'm going to take the Collection uh, Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in Cosmic Stars, which is just clear. I'm just going to pop it on the yellow. Oh, thanks, hen. Pop it on my desk, babe. What have I got? Food. Yeah, what is it? Ash. What is yeah. it? Peace, obviously. What is it? Mash? Peas? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what mash and peas are. Yeah, but like what's, what it, with, like? what's it with? Chicken on croot. Oh. <laughs> Very fancy. She's baking a chicken. Oh. <laughs> nice. Tidy. So I kind of like that little bit of glitter. So I'm going to take it slightly under. I feel like. I love that. Oh, yes, may it. So the eyes are finished. Now I'm going to go in with my face makeup. So for foundation, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I'm taking the shade 290 just because I want a bit more of a, like, a tanned shade today. And we're taking that on my Peaches and Cream PC 19. So when I get by here, I'm just gonna lightly make sure I haven't got hardly any product left and just lightly blend. over it, over the eyeshadow, just to soften the edges. This doesn't look like it's my shade at the minute because my neck's so red and I don't know why. So just bear that in mind. So for concealer I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Fine in C5. I'm just putting this lower down because I want to blend it up. So to blend the concealer, I'm just taking it up slowly. And just patting it in. What is this? Like I said, it doesn't matter because we can blow this out again in a bit. To set my under eye, I'm going in with the Hourglass translucent setting veil. Just set in all the areas that we highlighted and the areas that I get oily for a nice matte finish. And then just to set the rest of my face, just taking a bigger brush. This is the PC24. So to bronze, I'm going to be trying out the Marc Jacobs, um, what is it called, Omega Bronze in Tantric. So I'm going to give this a whirl. So I'm taking that on my PC15, which is still wet from when I cleaned it, which I find impossible because I've literally cleaned it like an hour ago. Ooh. Oh, I like it. That is like the perfect shade. Yes, honey. Oh, 
So when I said we're going to blend it up with a bronzer, I just meant we're going to do this and then we're just going to like buff it up into the shadow. Okay, so I love this bronzer. Love that. So I fancy going in with a bit of blush today, so I'm going to take the Havana blush by Benefit. I'm just swirling this around. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Primark highlight. This is the Pure Highlighter in Arctic Ice. Just taking that on a Peaches and Cream PC17. So for my brows, as usual, I'm taking the Primark Skinny Brow in brown. Like I always say, I prefer dark brown, but I can't find it anyway. I'm just going to brush my brows up. And I'm just going to start just drawing them in a little bit. Quite messy, because I want them to be that messy, like, fluffy look. Then I'm just taking the Maybelline Brow Drama. This is just a clear brow gel. And I'm just gonna fluff it through my brows. Just quickly like that. For lips, I'm just taking a nude lip gloss. I'm not gonna line or anything. I'm taking the Jordana Tisha Lip Gloss in Bougie. I'm just going to put this straight onto my lips. So this is it guys, this is the look completed. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating it and I come out like so much better than I even thought it would. Um, if you don't follow Stacey Marie MUA or over on Instagram, then I will leave her handle on the screen right now. Be sure to go check her out because her work is amazing. She is a top act at what she does. And I hope I done her proud in recreating or like using her type of work as inspiration for this look. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget to turn on the notification button so you will be notified when I upload videos, which is every Wednesday at around 6.30 and every Sunday at around 11am. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!